Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's resume our complete beginner's guide to Dyson Sphere program, shall we? We've got this tiny little factory that we're working on, and it's up to us to make this thing even better. So some of what we want to do is start researching and start optimizing our production just a little bit. It's still very early days, so this whole production area is kind of just a temporary thing until we expand, but I think it's a good time to mention something that my buddy Power calls the magic number in Dyson, which is six. And early in the game, when you're using these Mark I belts, you could think about the magic number as a ratio to help you plan. And the magic number is six. And what that means is if we have a mining machine that's getting six iron veins, that we want six smelters to go along with that to be able to use all of this ore that's coming out and not have this line back up at all. So let's get into that. Now I'm going to actually um, push X to get rid of that Tesla tower. You'll see that hurts our power temporarily. But that's okay. I'm going to click number one for power. And I'm going to move this. But I'm going to move it in such a way that it's not in the way. Because what I want to do is build some more smelters. So I don't have any um, smelters built. So I'm going to have to push F to bring up the replicator. And I'm going to go to buildings. And we're going to make smelters. And I need to have three of these. So I'm just going to push produce on three. You'll see I'm making stone. So this gives you an idea of all of the different materials that we want to start automating to make our lives easier. Yes, we can make this by hand, but it takes a long time um, and it uses a lot of core energy. Now, another thing we want to do is push T to open up the research screen and start knocking out some research. So what do we want? Fluid storage, high efficiency plasma control, Yes, these are good, but let's do some upgrades first of all. So, for example, this right here um, will boost our core energy. So, I'm going to activate this. This will allow us to view veins on the planet so that we can see from space um, and the sky where ore is located. So, I'm just going to queue these research up. I just click it and I say research. And then once you already have one being researched, you can enqueue something. Okay, like this, and then it will just add it to this list of research items in the upper left. We're working on zero, and we're burning through ingots in our inventory to do this. Now, to do any kind of real research, we need to have blue matrices. So I'm going to click on our research matrix lab right here, and I'm going to tell it you can have it do research or you can have it produce electromagnetic matrices, and this is what we want. But in order to make this, as, as I mouse over it, you see that we need circuit boards and magnetic coils. Um, so we need to automate the production of circuit boards and coils and send them to our research. We just finished this, which boosted our core energy. You could see in the bottom center of the heads-up display or the HUD that our energy bar has um, increased and it's filling up. So this gives us just more energy to play with which is phenomenal. I'm going to now go to production and I'm just going to um, click, click, click and build the magic number of six. Now I'm going to use um, the less than carrot or um, angled bracket to copy and then I'm going to use the um, greater than angle bracket to uh, paste this recipe in and we're going to go to logistics i'm just going to take the conveyor belt i'm going to drag this belt that sends or all the way over here i'm going to right click to end it and i'm going to drag the, the belt that takes or over here and we're going to need to place a bunch of sorters so we'll grab here grab here and grab here 
to send ore in, and then we'll just grab and take ore out. Now we're out of sorters, no problem. Right click, click on sorters, make me a bunch of these. And you see we're having to make boards to do this. We need to automate sorters as well. So there's a lot of stuff you need to do at the very beginning to just make your life easier so that you can expand faster and faster. Of course you can build things by hand, but it just takes a while. All right, now you can see that we're doing much better. But what we want to do is actually get more ore than what we're getting, because look at our belt now. You see that we're not getting enough ore. So we need to have, we want to have two mining machines, if possible. So let's go ahead and get another mining machine. And we're going to rotate this and get this so that we can try to get six going from this. Now, here's a cool tip. If you hold shift and push R, you can like rotate this not to snap it, but in a kind of arcing pattern so that you can try to get all of these nodes together if possible. And then that way, look at that, I got six, just like that. So we build this, we need power over here, no problem. Uh, let's go ahead and build some wind turbines. And I'm going to take a belt, and we're going to just bring resources from this. Oh, I'm out of belts as well. So let's make some of these. And we're really seeing what we want to automate. So this magic number of six with six smelters works if you have two mining machines working at um, six pieces of ore, I believe is the ratio that you're trying to go for here. Let me then build a wind turbine um, here. It will provide this with power. And then let me just take this out. Like this. And we're going to try to plan to have this get built. But as you can see, um, we're trying to make this. Um, and we just made some, but it just takes us a while to produce all of these by hand. So I'm going to bring this belt back. And we're going to go ahead and drop this right there. So our robots are going out, and they're going to finish this project. And then let's see. Come over here, please. There they go. And now we have two mining machines producing ore, feeding onto the same Mark I belt. And this should provide enough throughput for us to have all of these smelters going full gas. All right. Now, this one can't make any more because its output is full. So what we want to do in that case is say, all right, you're filling up. It's time to actually start using this. So we need to make some um, assembling machines and start producing some products. So let's build one right here. I'm going to close this window. What do we want? Once you build your first assembling machine, okay, um, you need to click on the assembling machine to tell it what item you want to build. And you click on the gear, and this is what we can make right now. We can make regular gears, magnetic coils, and circuit boards. Um, we can also automate buildings. Right now, let's just start with basic gears, okay? So we're going to say, can you please make us basic gears? And then we need to use logistics and grab items in here. This is not getting power, so um, we're going to want to build some Tesla towers. In fact, a bunch of them. And let's see. This, however, if I build this over here, um, this, this will get power. So now this is taking this in here. And what we can do, you can see that the 
assembling machine is now working and making gears as it moves up and down. I'm going to build, I don't have any um, of these, so we need to make this. And look at this, we have to make a bunch of gears by hand to even produce this. And this is um, because I'm going to take out some uh, ingots for us to work with. I haven't automated this yet. All right, so now I'm going to very simply, um, here we go, Oop. just build a line that goes like that, and then I'm going to take items out here, you can see the gears, and I'm going to storage, we need to build some storage chests, let's just uh, make some, but we don't have any stone bricks, so we need to get stone. So for the time being, um, let me get some stone. So there's stone over here, so we're going to need to get that collected. So let's build um, two mining machines for that. Now that's while that's building, let's go over and gather. And what are we getting over here? This is coal or is this stone? Let me see this. Yeah, this is actually getting us um, coal, which is great. But we want stone right now. So there's stone over here. So I'm just going to run my mech over. And... We're going to need a bunch of stuff created for this project. So let me get that going. And we'll make a couple of these. I'm going to go to gathering. And I'm going to push F1 to select the mining machine. And I'm just going to try to, you know, get this, that's good, into a position where I'm getting six. That's also good. All right, so there's a bunch of stone that we're going to gather, but we need power over here, no problem. Let's just send a Tesla tower over. Remember, the Tesla towers are like your power poles. They have um, a big connection in the sense that they can send the power a far distance, and they produce a wide area of influence for distributing the power. They don't make power, they just spread it around, and now these are both working. And from here, we're just going to go to logistics. And I'm going to send some stone this way. And send some stone this way. And we're going to kind of um, let these belts... Uh, well, let's not do it like that. Let me do it like this. I'm going to have this belt go out up and then this belt will come up and dump on there we go so now these will eventually converge and we can go to production and we're going to need to build an assembling machine right here and we're going to say assembling machine can you make me um, we want to make stone bricks. Oh, oh, that's the wrong... This is the wrong machine for this. We need a smelter for that. Okay, let me go ahead and cancel that. And let me go here. And let's produce some smelters. Now, we need stone bricks to even make this. Okay, so all we have to do is click on this belt... And in the upper right in this circle, it says stone. And you can just click on this, left click, to just start picking up a bunch of stone. And putting this in your inventory. And from here, now, okay, I can make an arc smelter. Because I can make stone brick from the stone that I have in my inventory. We also want to make some storage containers. So let's get that queued up. You're, want, you're going to want to just have some stone perhaps all right so this is looking good how is our grid we're doing great look how much power we're producing versus how much we're using that's tremendous 
Okay, so let me go into production and we'll build a smelter right there. And actually, I'm going to cancel that. Let's be a little bit better about this and let's just say production. Build a smelter where you're getting power. Like right um, here. Go to logistics and we're going to feed this in here and I want you to make stone bricks and now it's going to and all we need to do from this point is create a little conveyor belt um, that goes maybe to here well yep please run this way and then get me a storage chest that goes right here and then let's take logistics and grab and put it in there. And then once this is done, oh, we're missing one piece, which is to take out and put it on here. There we go. It's going to just start making stone bricks for us and storing it right here. So we're starting to automate some basic materials. This is stone and we can't research universe exploration because we need these matrices so i'm going to take some stone out and let's go do that this is going to just keep filling stone up stone bricks up for us and all you have to do once you automate that is come back and just top yourself off when you need more all right we're going to run back down here you could see that um a lot of our production has filled up because we can't make any more so let's go ahead and do this I'm going to put this storage chest right here and I'm going to continue to run this belt from here to here and I'm going to take sorters and we're going to put gears in this box. Now we need power to do that so let's go ahead and put a turbine um, oh if it's in it's just a weird spot where it can't build anymore no problem. I'm going to just build more power for us anyway over here. But let me go into my... Let's build some Tesla Towers. To get that power. Okay. And then we can build this wherever we want. It doesn't... Tesla Towers don't care about where they're at. In the sense of like too close to another wind turbine. And now this is filling up with gears. So that's one part of the automation process that we need. Let's just continue this belt moving down here. Okay, so you can see. This is what I like to do. I like to push F and just see what items do I need. All right, I'm automating ingots. I'm automating copper ingots. I'm automating stone bricks. I'm also automating gears. Let's get back and do magnets and then eventually we can actually turn some of we're going to want to turn some of that stone into glass for ourselves too so let's go do that in a second and we want to make circuit boards so smelters are or uh, magnets are actually produced in a smelting factory so let's go ahead and see if we have a smelter and we do and we're just going to build it right there and we're going to say okay I need logistics. I need to grab this and put it in here. I want you, I'm going to select your gear for your recipe to make me magnets. Okay. And then I want you to um, take a conveyor belt. And I'm going to, let's see here. Have this go like this. And... Um, Oh, whoops. Yes, right. That's funny. Okay. No, no, no. I'm doing this in the wrong place. I'm just using X to cancel that. <laughs> we need this earlier in the line. If we want to smelt, we have to smelt the raw ore. So that's no problem. So let's put it right here. Okay. And let's say now I would like magnets. Now, the way that I'm building this is not designed so that you can scale this up. 
I think when you're just starting out, it's good to keep in mind that you're going to want to build galactically and scale up. But just when you get your first base, I like to just get one of everything being made. And then later, we'll come tear this whole thing down and optimize and expand. Um, but right now, we don't even have the basic building blocks to expand with. So I like to just get stuff being made without worrying too much about, okay, well, you know, I want to make 100 magnet factories and, and such. Now, you can do it however you want. This is just how I like to begin. All right, so we're going to go ahead and have a storage box here to grab these. And we'll just go ahead and use logistics and send this out like that. And then there these go. And, um, oh, we need more. Okay, go ahead and make me some of these. Great. So we're going to store some just to have some magnets lying around if we need them. And we want to carry them around. But mostly what we're going to do is send these magnets to a facility that we can make magnetic coils in. And these are actually made in an assembler with copper ingots. So over here in our copper line, it's time to start working on... Here we go. Some facilities to make us even more advanced items and we'll go to production and we need a assembling machine mark one like that and what i want to actually make here are um well both of these things but let's make magnetic coils first because we're thinking about it and then we just need to go to logistics and grab ingots like that now you see these magnets that we're making we want these magnets to come over here. So this is going to take an amazing amount of track for us. So let's do that. No problem. Oh, and um, looks like we need some ingots in our bag. No problem. Oh, looks like we need gears. See... So you could see whatever it takes to make something and then just right click it and then just to cancel the project and then click conveyor belts. Now I can just make them freely because I have both the gears and the ingots in my inventory. So that speeds that up tremendously. And we're going to just take conveyor belts and we're going to just extend this belt all the way here over this like this and then I'm going to right click and I'm going to grab like that and like that and once this is done, okay, once all of my drones build this, you're going to see that we will send these magnets all the way over. We're burning through our coal, by the way. We'll get some more to power up our core, no problem. They're almost done. There they go. tremendous now when you build a conveyor belt and you want to build it over an existing belt it will just raise it for you automatically when you plant it um and you can change the elevation of a belt by pushing the up arrow it gets a little complicated but this is just fine for now i'm actually going to uh, get rid of this wind turbine and just build it someplace else because it's in the way all right, so now I'm going to take logistics and move this over here like this. And you can see that this factory 
is just waiting on magnets. And let's see here. This is waiting, and it doesn't make magnets very fast, unfortunately. Right? So it's making magnets, but it's storing a lot right here. So this is slowing us down. So I'm actually going to um, only have it store 200 magnets. And I'm going to take out the uh, 11 magnets. And then this way, it's not going to steal all of our magnets for storage because we're not producing enough. But one of the things you want to do is just notice, like, look how long this takes to actually make magnets, even though it's getting plenty of ore. So it might be in my best interest to, you know, have some more smelters making magnets because I just don't have enough right now. It's not, it's not giving me enough. So I can say, hey, give me another smelter right here. Copy this recipe and paste it. Go to logistics. Take this. Take that. We've got plenty of ore. Let's double the output of magnets. Now, you can see that we're actually producing coils, which we want. And so I'm going to make some storage chests. We need some stone bricks. And we need some coal, no problem. For the time being, until I send this someplace, you always want to just have your assembling process put things into a storage box just so it's going, so it's continuing to make stuff. All right. So let me see. How am I doing? I'm going to sort my inventory. I have plenty of ingots. Now we can upgrade. Let me go to um, production. No, gathering. Yep, we need another mining facility. Let's make it. Now, we need to send these ingots together. So I'm going to go ahead and go logistics, and I'm going to just um, bring the copper down here. We need more belts. That's no problem. Belts are easy for us to make now. I'll just make 60 really quickly. Okay. And... What I'm going to do is just run iron like this. And run copper like this for the time being. And we're going to go into production. And I'm going to build one assembler like that. And this is going to make us um, circuit boards. So to make circuit boards, we need to just go to logistics. And we need to pull off iron but we also need copper now unfortunately i'm gonna have to um because i want to send this on down i'm gonna use this method of reaching across to even though it's slower and when you want to compensate for the fact that you have to reach across one belt with a sorter i like to just put two so that it will address the speed problem all right i'm gonna build this back here and here it goes. And then we'll build logistics over here. Okay. And I'm going to go to storage. I'm going to build a storage box right here. And I'm going to go to putting these boards right here. Now, Oh, I'm not putting them out yet, though. Here we go. Oh, I don't have any. Oh, boy. Okay. So, eventually, we're going to take a sorter. Oh, here. Take a sorter. 
And then there it goes. So now we are automating circuit boards. So we now have the two pieces that we need for blue matrices. I'm actually just going to break my matrix lab and bring it over here. Why not? Everything's over here already. So I can put my matrix lab. Mm. I think this is fine for the time being. And then we're going to go to logistics and we're going to just grab this and send a line here. Like that. And this will be our magnets. And then I'm going to take this line of circuit boards and bring it here. I'm out of belts, no problem. Okay. This needs power, sure. We want this. And let's go to logistics. And let me cancel that. Go to logistics and just say, okay. I want these in here. And I want these in here. And I only want 200 in a stack of storage for now. Yay, and we made a matrix. And for this one, also, only um, 200 in a stack. And now, we are producing matrices. Okay, so that's correct. But what we need to do is actually send these matrices to another research lab. So we're going to go to buildings, and we need to make one of these, and let's produce it. We need glass for this. I put boards in my bag. And let's go ahead and make glass at one point. But for now, I'm just going to build this other matrix right here. And this one, we want to do research. And it needs power. So let's build another power right here. And then let's go ahead and give it with logistics. One. Oh, we need to make a bunch of these. But now that we have boards, look how fast we can make sorters. We need to take this out. And bring these in. And now we are researching with blue science. How about that? So we have one lab producing matrices, one lab doing research. We have automated circuits. We have automated magnets. We have automated, um, well, magnets and magnetic coils. We've automated gears, all right? And we've automated stone. I'm going to right-click to close that little achievement that we got. I'm going to go get myself some more coal for my engine. So we can now view the vein distribution of the planet. And you can do that by clicking in the bottom right down here. And you could say vein distribution. And if you click this on or off, you'll see on my map now, look at this. I can see where everything is. Hey, there's way more iron over here. Let's get that. There's coal over here. There's stone. There's copper. Look at all that copper. We want that. Fantastic. I'm going to go in here. Unlock the universe exploration. Now you can click the details display button in the lower right corner of the screen to open real-time distribution details of the ore veins. Okay, beautiful. So, we can push H, and we can do that. I like to have it on. All right, fantastic. So now I got some more coal for just powering up our mecha. And let me get some stowed out of here. 
uh, storage. We're running out of it. I'll just pick up 200. That's fine. And I also said, remember, that we need to get glass. So glass is made at a smelting factory. And we can just build it right here. And then we'll go ahead and take... Um, uh, there we go, logistics to bring this, and we're going to tell it, hey, we want you to make glass, and then we will simply take a belt over here. Oops. You need power. I get it. No problem. Power is so easy for us to make because we have magnetic coils in our backpack. And then we'll go ahead and do logistics, and we will take this out, and now we're getting glass. And then we will just make a storage right here. And you really don't need to send glass to many places, you just want to be making it. And we'll go to logistics, and we'll pull this in here. And how about that? So, we are doing way better with automating basic materials we have everything on these first two rows and actually on this screen for items we are automating every single one of these right now now it's time for us to shift over and start automating the production of buildings so that we don't have to make them by hand and we can just stock up whatever we need it but for now this is a beautiful beginning we can't do this research yet because we aren't making electric motors but we can make electric motors, okay? Um, once we, well, we'll have to get into that next time. So everyone, this is how you start out. You just continue to produce and mine and start to automate all of your stuff. Your scale will need to be tremendously larger later, but for now, just get your foot in the door so that you can do basic research, make your life easier and open up your possibilities. I hope you're still finding this guide series to be useful and fun. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.